Hey y'all, we about to do a quick little vlog, ride with me, chat with me. I gotta hurry up, cause I'm in a rush. I know my life can get crazy. Just remain solid and know that I got it. Choose around the globe, we can fly, plop it, change the time zone, switching up climate. When the time touch down in the trap, never mind. I hate no, could we pop? It? However, I'm rolling, I know that you rockin'. I picture with Tina, tell you go shop. She mow the company, she a look cocky. I really think that's how she got me. All the way she is, you rockin' with me. Okay, so we in the car. Girl, this purse empty as hell. I don't even know why I brought this whole purse. But I'm supposed to be getting ready for my best friend's party to go to. Where we going? Where we going? Some sports club, child. I don't know. Uh, hold on, y'all, because I got to order my Starbucks. Y'all know how I do. <sighs> Cause I'm about to run to Maryland real quick. What order here not available? Oh no, we can't do that. I can't have that. What do I want? Um, start check out. Boom. Cause my stomach growl. There it go. There it go. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it and I can feel it. Okay. Ooh, it's growling for real. Okay, hold on. Ooh. All right. I hope they don't give me no hot ass. Yes, I'm ordering Starbucks at 6 o'clock at night because if I got to go out somewhere, I need a little Starbucks. So, child, this is the same day that I dropped the um, One Flesh audiobook. So, if you ain't got it, what is you doing? If you ain't got it, what is you doing? I was waiting on you. Oh, okay. Shit. If you got it, then we cool. But if you ain't got it, we ain't cool. I don't want to talk to you no more. I'm mad. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm going to go this way because I'm not even going to try to fight with this feeder road. But, yeah, so it's been a hectic day because I stayed up. Let me tell y'all about the process. I stayed up. Is my camera going? I hold my camera the right direction. It don't even matter at this point. I stayed up all night doing that book. So first, because the book is, the audio is only an hour and 10 minutes, but you have to think about me reading the book. And this is no Amazon, no none of that. I done been through Amazon with trouble. That's an audio book on Amazon and on iTunes or iBooks or whatever. I didn't want to do Amazon this time. I wanted to do it independent like I do everything else because I already told y'all how it be when you trying to do something through Amazon or through another party. You don't get no coin for it and it don't be right. So, I was going to say, I hope you ain't going to walk your ass. Y'all been chill because I hit motherfuckers for a living. But, <clears throat> I wanted to do it myself. So, that's what I did. And I don't even know how I came up with the idea. It's like I was just sitting there thinking. I know I ordered some more paperbacks. I ordered some more triple books. So make sure that y'all go to the website. Please support. At, please support. Please support. Not not even just for me. Just Victorian Publishing is my everything. My grandmother, I made it in her honor. And she literally, y'all, hustled my books way better than I did. And she's not here anymore. And it made me sad just even thinking about that because she literally, when I say hustle them like bootleg CDs and I can't even put in enough effort to do it, do it myself, it's crazy. I got to do better with that. But, um, hold on, because I'm itching and something biting me. But somehow I came up with the idea like, hey, you should read this. Like, you should make it like a little visual audio book. Well, I knew I was going to make it an audio book. I didn't decide on YouTube until I started thinking about ways I could sell it on my own without going through Amazon. And I did come across Soundwise, but I didn't like Soundwise because for one, stuff be having too many, too many fees, and oh, it ain't that serious. Calm down. Stuff be having too many fees, and it costs too much. Like they want fifty nine dollars a month. I was like, man, no, nah, I'm finna do this my way. It's gonna be my way or the highway. So I just went private YouTube, <laughs> like YouTube Visual is what it's gonna be. Um, are you gonna get in front of me? Cause I feel like you won't get in front of me. I feel like you're going to get in front of me. But, so, what is the problem? Are they beefing? What is the issue? Can we not? Why do we have to be 
be so mean today. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> like, I don't want to yell. I'm, this is probably going to be the one video y'all don't see me cuss. Or have, well, I'm a cuss. But y'all might not see me have road rage because I really ain't for it today. Now, it might come on accident. We'll see. But I'm going to try not to let nobody piss me off. You can't have my joy. My joy cannot be taken from it me. So, I ended up coming up with the idea. So, I started reading the book, I want to say maybe like three or four days ago because I had to go through and edit the book because it's the actual book that you read. So every time y'all heard the word listen, I had to change the word read this book to listen this book to this book. Or like it was some uh, things I had to change and then you have to think I wrote that book in 2020 and it's 2023. So I had to go in and make changes to the book on, on paper. Then I went in and I read a couple of chapters in the closet and that whole thing is a voiceover. So it's literally just a voiceover on my phone. Just like how I do voiceovers on my videos, that whole thing is a voiceover. I didn't have no mic, I ain't had no studio, I ain't had none, no professional equipment. That is a voiceover I'm doing in my closet. And I must say so, that mug came out nice as hell for it to be like that. But baby, let me tell you, to have to do a voiceover of a whole book, by the time I finished, you could tell towards the end my voice started going out because what I did was, I when I first started, I read like the first two chapters. <clears throat> my voice still kind of a little hoarse and tired. I did like the first two chapters and then I left it alone and I was gonna do a little bit at a time. But then last night, when I started doing it, I was like, you know what? I just want to get it out the way. Like, let me just knock it all out. Because when I went in there and started reading it, I was like, well, the book ain't that long. It's really not. Like, it's only an hour in audio. So, imagine how fast you can read it. And it's a workbook. It's thin. Hell, I think it may be like 30, 40 page, 30 pages, maybe 25, 30 pages. And so, I was like, nah, let me just go ahead and knock the whole thing out while I'm doing it. Um, and I just kept going. And it was like 11 o'clock at night. And I had made me, I don't like tea. I should have drunk some tea, but I made me some coffee. And I said, okay, here we go. And I didn't finish reading that book until 3 o'clock in the morning. And that was with one break in between. Like one little 15-minute break in between. That's how long it took me to read that book. Because even though it's an hour, baby, that don't mean nothing. I had to stop. You got to chat like it's so many. You got to rest. I can't read a book straight through like that. I don't know anybody who can read a book straight through. And then if I made a mistake, I had to go back, delete that audio, and reread it. So it was a lot put into that. Um, it was very tiring, but nevertheless, I did it. And I actually stayed up until 6 a.m. So by the time I finished downloading it and putting it, posting it on YouTube and getting it uploaded on my website for people to buy. By the time I did all that, it was like almost 6 in the morning. I had made a video for Patreon to tell them. So, child, it was a process. And nobody knew I was doing it. So, the cold part is checking. Nobody knew I was doing it, right? So, tell me why. When I say nobody, I mean nobody. Like, even Christian didn't know. Nobody knew but me and God. But when I tell you, and I told Patreon this, I have the blog version of single saved and celibate series and I have the YouTube videos. So I kid y'all not at like two something in the morning and I didn't see it until I was going to upload the video on YouTube. It was a lady who commented on the couple celibacy blog that I did. And she talked about like how, you know, she was she's divorced and she has four kids and she's been celibate for four years. Um and she wanted to encourage me that people are still reading it. She was like, I hope you don't stop blogging and talking about this because, you know, I feel like an alien in this world. And then she has a Facebook group and she asked if she could use some of my material, you know, with crediting me for it. And I was like, girl, if you ain't on time, if God ain't right on time, I literally just finished reading the audiobook version. Baby, let me tell you, when I saw that, I said, "That's a, say less. That's all I need to know. That's I don't need to hear nothing else. I, that just warmed my heart, especially because, like I said, nobody knew. So the fact that it came when it did just let me know even further that what I was doing was what I was supposed to be doing. So that just that warmed my heart all the way. 
Hold on, y'all. Let me get my Starbucks. Okay. So, Starbucks definitely has my coffee at room temperature, which if I was the average person, I'd be pissed. But because I don't like hot coffee, I'm not mad. But I got oatmeal. They ain't even want to give a real nigga the damn nuts and, and dry fruit. That's the whole point of me getting the fucking oatmeal. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Oh, and then he made it too hard. Okay, so I got to mix this together, y'all. Give me a minute. Okay, hell to the no. I don't know what Starbucks are on tonight or who who these people are working. They got two, because y'all know I be knowing when Starbucks change their people. They got two black dudes in there working now. This motherfucker got... Look, I said I wasn't going to yell. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me lower my voice. But if I do, cut the volume down. This motherfucker gave me a fork, y'all. Now, how in the hell you want me to eat oatmeal with a fucking fork, you dummy? I saw him make the oatmeal too. Well, first of all, you know it ain't nothing but a packet and some water. I didn't. He didn't put the fruit or the nuts in the bag. And on top of that, you gonna give me a fork, really, for some watery oatmeal? It ain't even thick oatmeal. He put too much water in it, sir. You 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 fucking up. You better be lucky. I'm hungry. I had to go back up there, and I was like, y'all ain't got no spoons. She was looking like, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? You need to talk to whoever new employee that is y'all got and tell him people don't eat oatmeal with forks. When he should already know that. Dummy. Ooh, common sense ain't common. Lord, have mercy. Okay, so I was in Claire's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I gotta stop spending so much money. I really gotta stop spending so much money, bro. Like, no bullshit. Um, yeah, I got to stop doing that. Because uh, cause what do you what, what what you think you got? See, that's why tax season be getting me. Uh, not because I get a refund, because I do taxes. <laughs> My refund days is over, baby. But, love tax season. Ooh, I love tax season. That's when the coin come in, but it also gets so busy. Like, my life be just moving at a fast pace because maybe I got to do tax return. Um, come, come, if, come, if, come, if. And I, it is 7 o'clock, and my best friend party for her birthday started at 7 o'clock. And I'm not even at home or dressed. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm not dressed. I don't have my lashes on. At most, my hair is done a little bit. My edges is laid down. That's about it. But I know what I'm wearing, though, so that's easy. Hopefully, it still fits. Shit. I don't know if it's going to still fit. Excuse me, I burped. I don't know if them pants still fit. We're going to find out because, baby, I ain't trying to change my outfit. And it's going to be, it's, it's starting to rain, too. Come on. But yeah, I had one up in Claire's. Uh, that happened. So I got like a bunch of unnecessary shit. No. Y'all know they had a jewelry sale. So I had got like uh, three pieces of jewelry. And what else? What, what did I get? What? I done forgot. Just that damn fast. Oh, three phone cases. Didn't I say I wasn't going to buy all them phone cases? Did I not say that? Did I not say that? And the thing is, I have an iPhone 14 Plus. So, I'm taking a risk here. <laughs> because they don't make very many cases in the store for the Plus. You have to go on Amazon. And I actually just got one off Amazon. I got this one off Amazon with the little astronaut. And he actually comes out and turns into a kickstand. But because my nail's so long, I can't get his ass to come up out of there. Um, and I was going to get this case. But then when I seen some of the reviews, I was like, mm -hmm. and then my best friend ended up buying it and she said it was cute. So then I went back and bought it. And Amazon knocked on my damn door in the middle of me recording a video. And I was so goddamn mad because I thought it was James and Shane. And so I yelled out, really? Now, of course, I cut it out because that, that, it was an accounting video I did for Instagram. And then come to find out it's the Amazon man. Completely forgot that Amazon was coming. Completely forgot that Amazon was coming. And so I felt bad. I was like, oh, bitch, that's your Amazon package. But I don't know. I don't think he heard me. <laughs> I hope not. I told him thank you, though, when I seen him in the hallway. Okay, so we're about to go home and get ready. 
Okay, for real, I gotta hurry up. But this all the stuff I bought. Now, hopefully, I'm gonna get it to my best friend for her birthday. That's, I'm gonna make Christian with it. But I'm gonna chain. I got two more cases, some earrings, and then a little ring. Because y'all know it's about three, get three free. So I was just picking up stuff. Hopefully, these cases fit. We about to find out. Because if not, they going right back to the store. Child, when I tell y'all I was so damn high, I swear I recorded another clip of me after I put my outfit on. I was still at home and I was talking to y'all because I even said bye and everything because this these next clips from the club wasn't intended on being in here, but I knew I probably was going to put them in here. Bitch, I was high as fuck the whole night. As soon as I finished getting ready, I smoked me a blunt and I don't know where that footage went. I probably never even pressed the record button. I probably was just sitting there talking to my motherfucking self. That's how high I was. But anyway... Let's get to the turn up real quick before we end this thing out. And until the next video, bye.